because I am the one that machine that you want me to pump the fridge for one year. I am the one that that machine is doing evavum, evum, evavum, evum, pulling my breast, pulling my nipple like that. I am the one going through that pain. I am the one that the baby is latching on the nipple like, like as if as, as if snail latch up latch on something. <laughs> Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite baby girl, Smite. <laughs> Guys, um, the way this um, video is kind of tutorial me, like, ah, I just have to say something because um, everyone's uh, experience is different, right? So, and the um, reaction video is about um, Aka and Claire video. Please check the link to their video in my description box. Uh, which I believe most people have seen um, the reaction about it. And I thought, you know, if I haven't done a reaction about this, like, <laughs> the reaction is not over <laughs> until it is over, you know. <laughs> so, guys, I watched this video and it's, it's all about breastfeeding, guys, in case you haven't seen um, the video or you don't know who um, Claire and Haka, they are YouTubers as well and um, they got married about two years ago and they just had their first child. Um, the husband wanted to do um, breastfeeding for like one year. So and well, I think they had an argument before um, this video that they put on Instagram. I mean, it's his wife and they, he have every authority over his wife. But there are some things that, you know, men, they just feel like um, they can just, um, like because um, they are married, so they married you, this job is for you as a woman. This job is for you and me as a man, my home is to go to work and come back. My food should be ready and stuff like that. So that is exactly what I am seeing in this video. Because I can see Aka, like he wants to be very um, controlling. And so what happened, what happened was um, he just came back and it was like, oh, you haven't, um, you haven't pumped. Meaning um, the lady haven't pumped um, the breast. So he, he wants her to, prom to pump breast in the freezer for the next uh, one year. So he wants the woman to pump um, breast ready in the freezer for the baby. For the breast, uh, the breast milk that the baby will have for in the next one year. He, he wants her to start pumping it right now. And she was trying to explain that. Even for the first two weeks of um, after birth, she couldn't um, produce any milk. And the milk just started coming about like three weeks after. And now she feels like her milk is improving a bit. And I saw, um, and she she was trying to explain like, okay, I mean, like the way the, um, the man talks to her, because I think that actually caused an argument be between them before that video they put on the Instagram. So um she was like she preferred the baby to suck straight from her breast and the lady was like see like um the whole thing is stressing her and which is true she said it's stressing her like for her to um rush you is what is her priority right now is how our baby will uh, how she will be able to actually like feed the baby breast only all day and then as the milk is increasing every every month then she will be able to do breast only actually and also by six months the baby will be um taking solids as well and breastfeeding which will reduce the amount of breast milk that the baby will be having because the baby will also be having solids and then she can then now be pumping by that time and be pumping in the freezer but right now the trauma was too much and and she was just trying to explain, do you know how it feels for even a machine to be pumping? And the guy was like, oh, we are in this together. And she was like, no, we are not in this together.
together because you are not the one feeling the pain you are not the one that the machine is pumping to be honest guys um she's right because it's, it's a lot of stress and if even if you are too stressed you cannot even produce that breast milk yeah just for example when i had my first baby immediately i gave birth in the um labor room after they dress the baby and they clean me up and everything before they before they transfer me to postnatal ward they gave me bottle straight they didn't even ask me or oh, breastfeed or, or or whatnot they gave me um they gave the baby uh milk and bottle they have these um sterilized bottles for baby in the hospital and they have milk um the li liquid milk for babies in the hospital so they gave him straight away so I believe if, if there is anything wrong with um, giving baby formula, they wouldn't, they wouldn't give the baby formula. So yeah, we understand. They let us believe that, okay, breastfeeding is good for babies. The first six months of baby, uh, baby's life is good for them. Uh, breastfed babies, um, they, 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 won't, they won't have eczema, they won't have all these diseases, they, um, they won't have diabetes later in future, they won't have, um, they won't have, they won't be sick, they won't be uh, unwell, you know, all, all of that, like, um, breastfed babies will just be perfect babies, it's a big lie, honestly, it's a big fat lie, I'm telling you fine breastfeeding might be good you know no one is disputing that because it kind of they said it boosts um baby's immune system so well it could be that but um the rest of it, it it's a big lie to be honest because i have seen even um only breastfed babies like exclude ex exclusive breastfeeding babies that they um th that have got eczema a terrible one eczema yes i've seen it and it's only ex the mom do she's doing exclusive breastfeeding no formula so what's the why is the breastfeeding not um protecting the baby from getting that eczema which they put there that it protects them from getting eczema and uh, oh they also said something like oh um, breastfed babies they are always clever like they grow to be clever they 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 know um they they, they are, like they are very brilliant who said so i have seen a child that was never breastfed because the mom died the mom died like um immediately she gave birth to him and trust me this boy grew up very very clever and brilliant and he, he, he received scholarship here and there trust me he, he is very very brilliant so forget about this breastfeeding not 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 if you can breastfeed if you are, if a woman is producing a um, good milk yes do it if a woman is not don't stress her like don't stress like it's not every woman that produces milk and fine we know that there are some women that they, they just don't want to breastfeed it's just a decision that i just don't want to breastfeed but if you see a woman trying to you know even though she she's not producing any milk but she's forcing it like ah, i just have to breastfeed i want my baby to you know i want that best life for my baby as they said that breast milk is the best yeah i just want to do it you know allow it don't stress her all she need at that moment is just support do not stress her. oh have you pumped and he was even saying in the in the video he was even saying in the video that uh yeah because we we have a plan oh uh, we we, we uh, there are criteria we, we have a plan what plan brother what plan is wait is it contracts like because i don't get that oh we, we we have a plan what is the plan in breastfeeding oh god it's not easy <laughs> it's not easy see after a woman a, a woman after giving birth a lot a lot a lot of a lot of things is going on with that woman emotionally mentally everything she's she's still she will still be in so much pain <laughs> see when I, when i had my when i had my first child my see my bum bum was hurting 
Did I just say my bum bum? <laughs> Guys, forget that one. My bum bum was hurting me. I couldn't sit down. See, I couldn't sit. That time, if I wanted to pee, oh my God. I will be begging God, God, please, God, please. Um, I, I will scream because if that acidic urine touches that uh, that area, ha, chineke me, ha, that's painful. And talk about breastfeeding. I actually breastfed my um my babies. Um, my first child, yes, they gave him formula in the hospital. Then later, I I breastfed him and yeah and then I was doing both because I wasn't producing enough milk and the milk how the um the, the and my milk like I won't get the milk flow if I don't take something to stimulate um the breast milk in the sense that maybe like drinking pap pap works for me a lot so me whenever I take pap it um it, it uh, I will get filled up there like i will get filled up and it, it's really worked it, it worked for me so it, it gets sometimes stressful like okay because once the pap runs out from me then the breast is we just become normal and nothing will come out of it so and you can imagine the stress of okay having to drink pap every every time every year and there like you you want to drink something else you know you like you get tired of the pap yeah so when you have to not like have to drink pap before your tap can be running i mean it becomes stressful at that moment a woman don't need stress and even at that i was just stressing it like ah my baby must breastfeed but my first child he, he had um tongue tie i gave back to him tongue tied this tiny um rope under the tongue that attached to the um to the gum so the he couldn't he couldn't really latch on very well and when it latches on um the old milk will be dripping out on the sides because the le um the the tongue is actually not um the tongue wasn't latching if you get what i mean so and aside that the milk is getting from here it, it, it wasn't enough it wasn't enough and the dad will just because my husband he doesn't care breastfeeding or something all he cares about is his son should not starve that's all he doesn't care about breastfeeding or what not blah blah he, he will even be like wait what's this breastfeeding thing the baby is crying my child is hungry give him formula give him formula what's this breast all about like I, he's not getting it what's this breast all about he doesn't believe in it i really don't believe in it as well seriously like i start see, let me tell you things like all these doctors all these um um scientific blah 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 i stopped believing them since they told me i could never have a child of my own child and now i have three boys since then i stopped believing them that uh, they are just saying their own is god that has the final say your child breastfeed though it doesn't though my my child okay my my first son as i was saying i only breastfed him for three months and it wasn't just breast only it, it, i was mixing it with formula and after three months it just stopped sucking it stopped sucking and I even went to the breastfeeding cafe. We have breastfeeding cafe where they um, show mom how to do things and all of that. So we went there. They tried. He, he just he just doesn't want the breast anymore. And they sent later when he clocked, they booked an appointment for him um, to cut the um, tongue tie. And um, after they said, okay, they will um let him be one year first because he um he was too young for uh it was just three months too young for him to go through anesthetic because they will actually put him to sleep before they can do the um operation so um and they booked the appointment to cut the tongue so that was why he stopped on its own really like he stopped on his own so and that was it so you know and my second i breastfed him for seven months i did mix as well even my baby at the moment 
um at the beginning and this is what i want to bring out of this at the beginning i, I was doing like I, I this one i just want this breast only thing like i was so like okay let me do to do breast now like i want breast only see guys this this is the baby that i i tried to like do breast only my baby fell heel nine days after i gave birth to him he was admitted in the hospital he got infection so now tell me like why didn't the breast milk protect him from getting that infection and from getting that um from from getting healed that one that they said oh breast milk um it will stop them from they won't fall sick and look at and the the, the brothers is his other brothers that i now even mix formula for they ne I never had any issue with them. They never felt ill. They, nothing has ever happened to them. Nothing. So forget about this breastfeeding um, thing. I, I really don't believe in it. So it is what you believe in yourself that, you know, if you believe that if you don't breastfeed your baby, then your baby will grow up be being dummy. Then that's it. That's it. But forget about all these things, all these things. So let's stop um, stressing um, people about breastfeeding and stop criticizing other moms you know there are some friends and of family and friends that they would now call they would not ah, 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 you've stopped breastfeeding now while wow, like ah, you guys cannot even wait to start doing the do 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 before um you uh before you stop breastfeeding and i was like does that even make sense so even if i'm breastfeeding even if i'm breastfeeding my baby does that mean I cannot do the do with my husband? Like, <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. So, the way they just make breastfeeding look like it's one kind of a big deal, <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. So, men should stop stressing a woman. And I can see Aka being, um, like, kind of want, want to be too controlling. And he cannot understand it. See, the first, the first weeks after birth, if you are breastfeeding, Ha! Come, the breast will be very painful, very tender, cracked, cracked nipples, and bleeding. I had that, guys. I had that for my first, uh, my first burn and my second burn. But the, my third burn, I didn't even feel pain uh, on my nipple at all. I didn't feel any pain. But see, guys, the first burn. As, of course, as a first-time mom, all that pain will be very strange to you and you'll be trying to, you know, get over it and um, get yourself better and feel better. But the, all, all Claire needs right now is your support, yeah? Okay, so Aka was like, <laughs> um, the wife insulted her by saying, oh, you two, uh, you two pump. <laughs> Bro, of course, what do you expect? <laughs> I can I cannot just imagine me going through all the pain I was going through after birth and then my husband will now come back. Yeah, just for example, he will now come back at night and I'll be like, where's my food? Your food. It's on my head. Carry it. Carry your food because it's so annoying guys like because you see some men here yeah, even if you come back you come back like if, if they come back from work and they see you sitting they will think you've been sitting down all day when they see the baby sleeping they will think the baby has been sleeping all day maybe by that time that they they came in you just started sitting down all day or baby just started sleeping all day they will think that's the way the baby has been sleeping all day I've seen men like that. I've seen men like that, honestly. And it's not fair. Men should try to understand that and reason with the woman. If she says uh, um, she's stressed, she's not... Because all these things, she's stressed already. Let me tell you. Mentally, emotionally, she's, she's stressed. And the little she needs from you is your support. If you are having more stress to her, stress for her, that breast milk you, you want, we definitely close. That's it. Everything will dry yes it will not come but the support you could give for her is okay what makes our, our breast milk flow if it's pap 
just like mine or if it's some people when they have spicy food their, their breast so whatever works for her just be like okay should i make you pop eh what can i do you know what what do you think we can do um so that this can work out you know there are ways you put things there are ways you put things to a woman and he was now saying the lady now explains him that the way he said it it wasn't like that that the way he said it of course it was you are not like oh you didn't mean it like that okay say it the way you mean it that's it just say it the way you mean it you know there is different between okay i am so sorry i am so sorry i am truly sorry and there is different between okay i'm sorry mm. so there is a big difference between the two you know you know the point is men should just you know try to support women because let me trust me we are going through a lot after childbirth even the stress of the stress of um carrying the pregnancy for nine months <laughs> it's not a joke it's not a joke i i i knew he said in the v in the video that okay no one has ever been through this um pain with you than me uh no one have, has ever prayed for you than me no one has done this I, we know brother like we know but this particular issue prayer cannot stop this pain after childbirth prayer cannot stop it you know like you uh, it, it was like oh i understand your pain i can i, I feel your pain. you cannot feel my pain you cannot understand my pain it is my pain not our pain you know because i am the one that machine that you want me to pump the fridge for one year i am the one that that machine is doing even 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 pulling my breast pulling my nipple like that i am the one going through that pain I am the one that the baby is latching on the nipple, like, like as if as, as if snail latch up, latch on something, eh? Baby latches on, on the nipple. It is me going through that cracked, painful, bleeding nipple. Not you, bro. Not you. So fine, I know you want the best for um the baby which is your um the both of you baby of course i mean do you think do you think me as a mother i will carry my pregnancy for nine months go through all that labor pain and i will not want the best for my baby or you think i want to i will want to starve that baby come on bro think about it think about it no I, I, in fact, women, we are more, we are more passionate about our children than men. Let me tell you, we are more like, because I mean, it just, it, it just comes naturally. And even though we are getting L U you men support, like it, it's not enough. Like we, women still do a lot and combined to it, most women or some women, this, they, they work as well as you the uh, the husband so and they will still come back to the same thing to look so women we are doing a lot men you need to appreciate us you need to appreciate it so when your wife says that okay i am feeling this way or try to understand don't be selfish about don't care don't, don't be uh all about only what you you want to um your uh, you want to achieve or because you know oh they said breastfeeding is the best for the baby so she have to give the baby breast milk you don't want to care how, how she, about how she feels no that's selfish it is selfish because i don't think she will want a, uh, a, uh, she would not want the best for her child as well so my video is just getting super long guys so i would like to end today's video here um if you you can also put your suggestion down below you know let me know what you feel what let me know what is your own experience and let me know if you disagree with what i am saying let me know but this is just my own opinion if today is your first time on this channel my brother and sister what is your game when you don't click on that subscribe button eh no game now and it's free ah uh, it's very free like free free just click macam subscribe so thank you so much for your support and i will see you guys in my next video ciao
what do you think about my makeup guys like i feel like my face is popping like everything on fleek i'm gonna show you my full outfit later.